French police say a 15-year-old boy who was injured in a shootout in the western French city of Poitiers on Thursday evening has died. Four other people were injured in the exchange of fire in front of a restaurant which police say was linked to drugs gangs. France's interior ministry has warned the country is at risk of, in his words, Mexicanization due to rising drug crime. Air pollution in Pakistan's second biggest city, Lahore, has soared to a record high. Officials recorded harmful particles at a concentration 40 times above the level considered acceptable by the World Health Organization. For days, the city's been covered in smog, but the air quality index surged to over a thousand points for a time on Friday, making Lahore the most polluted city in the world. Tens of thousands of gaming fans have gathered at the O2 Arena in London for the start of the grand finals of one of the world's most popular competitive computer games. The League of Legends World Championship Final will see teams from Korea and China go head to head. Korea's team, T1, is looking to defend its title and walk away with a prize money of more than $450,000. The US presidential candidates are taking their campaigns to the Midwest with four days to go until the election. America has ordered additional fighter jets and Navy warships to the Middle East in a warning to Iran. And in Spain, more than 200 people are confirmed to have died in devastating floods as the search goes on for those still missing. Verify has been investigating Elon Musk's far-fetched claims about Democrats importing voters. This has involved studying over 8,000 social media posts by Elon Musk. Here's BBC Verify's Jake Horton with more details on the claims. So we looked at all of his posts across X over the last four months, and we found uh, he has been questioning the integrity of the vote quite a few times. And in one particular claim, he has made 22 times, he has said that Democrats are importing illegal immigrants to vote in the US elections and help them win. Now, this claim was viewed more than 300 million times and was shared 600,000 times. So it's pretty viral. And it's important to say off the top that illegal immigrants cannot vote in federal US elections. It's against the law. A joint report by the United Nations and the government of Nigeria says the country is facing one of its worst hunger crises, with a projection that 33 million people will be food insecure by next August compared with just under 25 million this year. The jump of around one third comes amid a cost of living crisis exacerbated by austerity reforms and the ending of a decades old petrol subsidy. A top advisor to Iran's supreme leader has said the country can and will build nuclear weapons if it feels its existence is threatened. Kamal Kharazi, a former foreign minister, insisted the only thing that stopped Iran making atomic weapons is a religious ruling that forbids their development. His warning was broadcast on a TV station close to Hezbollah. Striking workers at Boeing are set to vote on a new offer from the plane manufacturer, which includes a pay increase of 38% over the next four years. The union, which represents over 30,000 striking workers, has endorsed the offer. The company hopes it could end the walkout, which began on the 13th of September. Traffic regulations for cyclists have been tightened in Japan. That's in a bid to crack down on people using phones and cycling while drunk. The revised law will see cyclists who don't follow the rules find up to $3,000 or jailed for a maximum sentence of three years. It comes amid a rise in bicycle accidents. The Serbian president says he wants those responsible for a deadly roof collapse to be prosecuted and severely punished. At least 13 people were killed after part of the canopy at a railway station collapsed. The station is 60 years old and has just been rebuilt as part of a new high-speed line linking Belgrade and the Hungarian capital Budapest. However, the canopy was not part of the renovation work. Well Hundreds of extra troops are being deployed in Spain to help with the recovery after devastating floods killed more than 200 people. Final countdown to the next Conservative Party leader. Either Kemi Badenoch or Robert Jenrick will be announced as the winner this morning. A 13-year-old girl has been stabbed in East Yorkshire. Six teenagers are being held on suspicion of attempted murder. We'll take a look at the papers. Catastrophic floods in Spain continue to feature on many of the front pages. This image here um, in The Independent showing a twisted mass of cars blocking a tunnel entrance in Valencia. Um, also reports, we understand, that Spain's military had joined the rescue efforts yesterday. Let's have a look at The Times, saying hundreds of GP practices, care homes could be forced to close due to tax increases announced in the budget. A spokesperson for the Royal College of GPs is quoted <coughs> saying this extra financial burden will be the straw that breaks the camel's back. We're just... 
Days to go until Americans head to the polls. The Guardian carries a special edition featuring 33 of the most iconic images of US presidents. It also leads with a story that Republicans are laying the ground for rejecting the results of next week's election in the event Donald Trump loses. Uh, the Daily Mail is reporting that Prince Andrew has been cut off financially by his brother, King Charles. It quotes a new royal biography. The paper says the king has severed Andrew's annual personal allowance, believed to be around £1 million a year.